I bought 39 untested Xbox 360 consoles from Goodwill, and in this video, we're gonna test and explore about 10 of them and see if we can turn a profit. Guys, welcome to The Hampton Hall. My profit goal today is 300 bucks because I'm still saving up for this 360 right here. But let's go ahead and start out with this uh, 360, and yeah, you can tell right off the bat, this thing is pretty much yellowed, and there's just tons of stickers on top, which is awesome. I flip it to the back, it's got a service date of 2010. I believe that's a Falcon motherboard power port. Uh, well, let's plug it in and see if it works. So I'm gonna be surprised if this console does not red ring, but let's go ahead and turn it on. We got life. I can almost guarantee you the disk drive will be stuck. Let's see, what? No way, disk drive is not stuck and it's got Skyrim inside. Oh, but it closes on its own. That's, <laughs> that's not ideal. All right, I got my controller connected up and we got some profiles. We got blue cornbread. Something sounds off about that. D <laughs> got these nuts. <laughs> Double flip <laughs> that toy. That's actually hilarious. I also got double flip dog. We got phase killer, salt and pepper. That's actually a pretty awesome nick nickname. And then we got that guy with a D. Okay. Oh, of course he has an Xbox Live passcode. Come on, man. Well, this is tragic. I've tried every combination I can think of that's obvious and it's not working. So I can't sign into this guy's profile. Oh man, he's the one that's got the most interesting profile as well. That sucks. Let's try out salt and pepper. No way. They all have proof. Oh. Yep, can't guess that one either. That's tragic. Let's try Phase Killer. Okay, there we go. Finally can sign into somebody's profile, but it's not even an Xbox Live profile, so it's not gonna tell me much, but let's check it out anyways. So the latest last played date we have here is 2014, and the first one we have is also 2014, so not a huge play history. Uh, let's try to get into one of these other Xbox Live profiles, though. I think there was one more here. Yeah, Double Flip Dog was also an Xbox Live profile. Let's see if he's got any, no message, no bio. Yeah, his bio is hot. Nice. Uh, my <laughs> this latest game was played was Minecraft and MW3 in 2015, FIFA 14, and the first thing played was Halo 3 in 2010. Now, man, I really want to get into those other two profiles. They looked just, <laughs> they were just funny. Let me try those codes one more time. Oh, I guessed it. Let's go. It was left trigger, right trigger, left trigger, le right trigger for salt and pepper. Let's go, and he's got the Skittles background. Oh, that's awesome. All right, you gotta have a bio and message here. Come on, oh, all that work, and there's not even a bio or a message. That's tragic. Last played MW3 in 2015, though. Now, I'm trying to find who last played Skyrim, because Skyrim is obviously the game in here, but I haven't seen anybody that was had last played Skyrim, so it's gotta be the one guy I haven't logged into yet. But anyways, this guy's first last played game was 2013, so he has a player history of 2013 to 20, 2015, not too long. Now, let me try the other profile one more time. Yes, dude. This one was right trigger, left trigger, right trigger, left trigger. So again, it was just the triggers, but the opposite of the last guy. Oh, that's awesome. All right, this is the guy I'm really interested in. Let's see, dude, he's got the full on get up. Everybody loves me. A man with a very large French fry in his hand. Where does this come from? And he's got the, he's got Brian from Family Guys as, as his profile picture. This is awesome. I'm surprised he doesn't have like a background here. What is his bio? I don't know what that means. Yes, yes, you are. Uh, okay. Uh, Hampton, Virginia. Makes sense because that's where I bought this console from. That's where I bought all these consoles from. And MW3 last played. And then the first thing with the date is Ace Combat 6 in 2011. So, so it looks like everybody stopped playing in 2015. I am surprised that we have Skyrim in here though because it looks like nobody played this last. Let's go ahead and make sure this game works. Oh, oh. Gotta do the classic slap the top of the disk drive. And it looks like it... Huh. So, the interesting thing here is that, yeah, you can see this thing's always flashing, which is not a great sign. Usually that means that it's not actually coming out all the way and triggering the, the mechanism that tells it that the disk drive is all the way out. And for some reason, it's not actually pulling back in right now. But anyways, the disk drive does appear to be working, although we will clean it out. We'll also replace the rubber band, and that should get this thing working a lot better instead of just having all those issues you just saw there. Uh, but we'll do that in a future video because, like I've been saying recently, we're taking all the broken consoles, putting them in a future video at the end of the Hampton Hall where we repair a bunch of stuff. Oh, I didn't check the games, actually. We got any downloaded games? We got, yes, we got Minecraft. Nice. Let's boot this up and see what the last save date is here. All right, so we got some worlds here. We got Solo, New World, Walled Castle, Nuketown. I don't know. Dude, there's a lot of... <laughs> There's a lot of worlds here. Shout out Nuketown from COD. Let's see what, uh, see what it looks like here. There we go. All right, we're in a big field. This definitely does not look like Nuketown. It just looks like a big field with a uh, big building and some cows. Maybe, oh, what is that? Is that the sun off in the distance? We do have something off, out here off in the distance. Let's go check that out. Oh, okay, hold on. No, I, I see it. Yeah, this is one of the houses in Nuketown. Okay, that, yeah, that looks pretty good. You got your shed out back, a garage. Okay, I see you. I don't remember cows being here, but... Oh yeah, this actually does look like look like Nuketown, kind of. There's no bus, but there is another house over here. I don't know, pretty cool. 
Again, I'm not really a Minecraft guy. I don't really know how to play, obviously, you can tell. Now, next up, going to system storage. We'll see how many gigs we have here. We've got eight free. Yeah, so a 20 gig hard drive. This is like an OG hard drive, so it's probably gonna die at some point. I wanna say soon, but it's, you know, these things don't last forever. Let's go ahead and eject the disc and move on to the next console. <sighs> Again, there we go. <laughs> Oh, now it's halfway out. Yeah, that thing definitely needs some work. Now, next up, I have an Xbox 360e console that we'll try out. Let's go ahead and see how large the hard drive is here. And we got a 250 gig, nice. Let's plug it in, see if it works. Are you interested in a free game like Wii Sports or even a Texas Load and Hanson Hall sticker sheet? Well, if you are, it's your lucky day. Check out my link down below to whatnot and get a $15 credit if you sign up today. It's 100% free, no tax, no shipping. Anything under $15 will be 100% free. And I only have this stack of games, so once these are gone, they're gone. So go check them out right now before they're sold out. All right, plugged in, see if it turns on. No way. A red dot of death on a 360e? No, that can't be real. So guys, I tried a few things here. Uh, first of all, let me just kind of show you, give you a better view of what happens. Basically, I turn it on, it immediately red rings, or red red dots in this case. I got the secondary error code, which is a 0023. I looked it up, uh, couldn't find anything concrete on what exactly that issue is, but it's definitely a board level issue, so I'd have to open it up and either replace some capacitors, resistors, or either reflow one of the chips. I think it was one of those things. But I'll look into it more. Again, this is one of the consoles that will go into a future video. But what I want to do, at least for now, is try to eject the, the, the disk drive just to see if we have a free game inside. If you come on here the side of the 360E, there's a little yellow sticker right there. And if you stick a paper clip kind of right through there, it'll manually eject this disk drive. So let's try that out. Yeah, there it goes. Cool. Nothing. Well, that was all for nothing. Great. That sucks. Never thought I'd see the day when a 360E console Gave me the red dot, but it is what it is. <laughs> Let's go ahead and uh, move on to the next console. And again, this console will be in a future video to try to repair it. Now, next up, we have an inbox 360 Slim, which I'm always curious to see what are in these things. Oh, it's, uh, yep, we got an Xbox, that's a good sign. And we even have little foam pieces that are, of course, mutilated. Let's take the console out and see what's underneath this bad boy. We've got a power supply, nothing on that side. Actually got a AV cable, power cord, and no controller, but uh, let's go ahead and see what this console's got going on. Actually, this console is super clean. Let's see if there's a hard drive inside. And there is, nice, 250 gigs. Also, I didn't mention it, but for the 360E that just red got the red dot of death. Red dot sounds so weird, I just call it red ring. The red ring of death. I pulled out the hard drive so we can try this hard drive on another console just to see what was on it. Let's go ahead and plug this console in, see if it works. All right, three, two, one. You got life, good, no red dot of death there. <laughs> let's see if there's a disc inside that hard drive. Disc inside the hard drive. Disc inside the disk drive, sorry. Console's loading up, we got Tristan. All right, Tristan's already signed in. <laughs> His gamer score is 2345. What are, what are the chances you have a gamer score that's you know perfectly in order like that? Now checking out his achievements, I don't see any dates last played 2012. That's the only thing it shows here, which is Party Animals and Madden NFL 13. Let's go ahead and put a game in, see if it works. And while that's loading up, I'm gonna scroll to the games, see if we got anything downloaded. We got, nope, just all the standard stuff. Kingdom for Keflings, Hexic HD, Peggle, Pinball FX, just the, the standard. And yeah, games, game is loading up, so not much to see on this console, but we'll, what we'll do next is turn this console off, take the hard drive out, and we'll put in the uh, 360E console's hard drive and see if there's anything on it. Let's see what we got here. We got B-Ball, nice. Employing Mean 02, <laughs> sounds like a mean boss or something, I don't know. P&M Jack Attack, 13,000 gamer score. Oh, okay, okay. And we got Sophie 15XX. Uh, I'm not sure if we'll be able to see much on here because it's not showing the avatars which I have a feeling that maybe the avatar data is saved on the console, like 360E console, but the some of the other data is saved here on the hard drive. I'm, I'm not exactly sure. No bio, no message though. We can see when it was last played. Battlefield 1943 in 2016. And then first played NCAA Football 10 in 2012. It's not a huge play history. Let's go ahead and uh, I'll try out the other profiles as well. All right, employing mean, Jim. No history here, Black Ops 2, 2017. And then first, yeah, Lost Odyssey in 2014. So not too much going on with this hard drive. Again, we can't see everything because the avatars are probably saved on the other console, but it is working. This console is working. It'll be listed down below for sale on my website called jrabgaming.com. So go check that out. And let's go ahead and move on to the next console. Crap, that was not good. So next up, I've got a 360 Slim, which doesn't look too bad. Let's see if we get a hard drive in here. We do. Man, I've seen so many consoles in this lot with 250 gig hard drives and warranty seal is still intact, although it's peeling off a bit. But let's plug it in and see if it works. All right, three, two, one, go. Oh wait, dude, is this? Oh, this console might be modded. I booted it up, we got a blue LED. Let me turn it back off and on again. Okay, okay, hold on. I was, that startled me. All right, so turn it on, blue LED. 
It also f it also flashes flashes red and green lights around the outside when it boots up. Also, by the way, the fan is on full blast, which tells me between the LEDs, the full blast fan, there's definitely a mod here. Yeah, there it is. There's two options here, maybe an RGH mod, or they just put LEDs in here and then did a 12 volt fan mod where they give it full power all the time. But let's uh, see what it boots up to. Now I haven't booted up an RGH console in probably a couple of years, so I don't remember exactly what it boots up to, but I'm pretty sure it does not boot up to the main dashboard like usual. Uh, what did I, I swear I just saw a bug fly. It's, maybe I'm seeing things. All right, but we, we got some profiles here. We got baby.co, I am, I'm amazing. I'm amazing. That's awesome. Player one, PM blazing. Nice. Let's just check out the first one and see what's up. All right, so baby.go. He's got no bio, no message. Last played MW2, nice, in 2018. And then first played NBA 2K12 in 2012. So fairly long, long history here. But scrolling through this console, I don't see any other signs of an RGH. I, let's just uh, let's just start by scrolling through my games here and see what we got. Oh, oh, dude. Wait, wait, hold on. Oh, these are all full games. We got MW2. We got Black Ops 3, Black Ops, Black Ops 3 Bundle. And Forza Horizon 2, all downloaded games. Let me just boot up Black Ops Bundle 3 because I'm not sure. What? <laughs> Can't boot it up? Okay. I, I have never seen this this error right here. So usually it either boots up or it gives you an error and says you have to put a, a disc in. This one just says can't launch MW2 Xbox stores. Let me put in my the disc tray is stuck too. Okay, there we go. Uh, let me just put in my copy of MW, MW2 and see what happens. All right, so this drive works fine. It's booting up MW, MW2, but I wanna go back to that My Games tab and see what it shows there now. All right, so back in here, you can see MW2 still pops up. Of course, that'll boot up because we have the disc in now. Um, I'm, but I'm not, oh wait, hold on. XEX menu 1.2. Oh, that's that's an RGH thing. Hold on, hold on. Oh, oh, here we go, here we go. Yes, this console is definitely, definitely modded at some point. I'm trying to remember the terms. How do I get into like the, what is it, like the Aurora software? I don't know, guys. It's been, like I said, it's been a while since I've booted up an RGH console. Oh, yes, I got into it. All right. I just uh, went to the XEX menu. I found the Aurora um, executable file, pulled it up, and we're partially in now. Usually, so usually people will install games here, and they'll show up right here. Obviously, there's nothing here right now. Let me go to settings, though, and let's see if we can figure out how to mess with the, like, you know, the, the fan, all that good stuff. Ooh, so, so here we go. Now that I boot up the Xbox guide, we got a freestyle home, which is freestyle, I guess, is the RGH main menu. All my terms are mixed up right now. We can also see our processor, graphics, memory, and chassis uh, temperature readings. Uh, I'm trying to watch those to see if they actually change. Yeah, they're changing, so they are they are re reading right now. And then, yeah, let's go, baby. This is, oh, this is awesome. I cannot believe somebody had an RGH console and just an rgh console and then gave it to Goodwill. Let me see if I can find some. There's just like nothing on here though, which is kind of sad. All right guys, so I've been trying to do some research online and also just search, surfing through the files here and I ended up on Freestyle Dash, which is just another dashboard you can use through RGH. And you can see I'm signed into this baby.go now. You can see my disk inside and it looks like the NXE dashboard, which is awesome, like legendary right here. And there's so many different things you can do here. Oh, we got, wait, hold on, we got the weather? Uh, no network connection, I'm not, not even gonna try to connect, but. Um, let's just throw, scroll through this freestyle dash here, and I'm trying to figure out how to play those games you saw on the main dashboard. Probably just in the wrong category, maybe. I, I don't know. I haven't really looked too much in the file structure of this thing. We got like Homebrew, Xbox Classic, Emulators. I, did, I love this dashboard. Now, something else I was just trying to do a minute ago is boot into Dash Launch, which is another software on here where you can basically tell your console which dashboard to boot into automatically when you boot up. But for some reason, Dash Launch was not loading. I don't know. I'll have to look into this more in another video, but. Let's just scroll through here some more. Check out the file manager. <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if the person who bought this bought an RGH console that wasn't all the way set up and then got confused when they tried to set it up and were like, man, this thing sucks and dumped it off to Goodwill, which would be hilarious. Like these things are worth 150, 200, maybe a little bit less than that at this point. But uh, let me see what happens now. If I eject the game, it should disappear. Dude, this, this dashboard right here is awesome. Just like the NXE. Well, anyways, guys, we're back on the main 360 menu now. And in case you don't know what an RGH mod is on a 360, it's basically a hardware mod where you install a mod chip and it allows you to do homebrew, uh, you know, install emulators, uh, back up your games, pretty much any of the standard modding stuff you'd see on consoles like this. But clearly I have not touched an RGH console in years, so I don't know what I'm doing with it. But uh, let me know down below if you got any tips. Let's go ahead and check out this last profile here just to see what's going on with him. And I'm amazing, nice. All right, bio is I'm amazing, been amazing since 06, rest in paradise, Nate record. All right, from Newport News, which is in Virginia. Makes sense considering where I bought these consoles. Uh, this one was last played in 2018 and first played 
2012. So, oh, Doritos Crash Course, nice. But anyways, guys, this console is working. We'll explore this more in a future video just because it's got so much you can do with an RGH console. I'll probably open it up, clean it out. It is pretty dirty. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the next console. So next up, we have a Fat360 that appears to have a melted rubber band on top. It's definitely a melted rubber band, which is very strange, but okay. I guess it is what it is. Flip into the back, we have a service date of 2010 here, and it appears to be a, was that a Falcon? Nope, I, th I thought this was gonna be a Falcon, but no, that's a, that's a Zephyr right there, I believe. You don't see those too terribly often. Let's plug it in, see if it works. Got it plugged in, let's turn it on. Three, two, one. Got life, and of course we already know. Holy crap, that freaking scared me. <laughs> that is the loudest disk drive noise I think I've ever heard, and I've heard some loud disk drive, disk drive noises. Now we know we have a bad disk drive because, what? This drive is flashing when the disk drive is pulled in, but it's not flashing when it's out. Now it's stuck. That's like classic 360 stuff right there, but let's go ahead and leave it alone for now. And oh, this guy's at 56,000 gamer score. Just get up and fight. What is this? I guess that looks like some song lyrics maybe, I don't know. He's also got the Fallout character as his uh, profile picture, with his, which is pretty cool. Last paid in 2014, so man, yeah, he definitely dumped it for an Xbox One, uh, Tetris Splash and 150, 156 games here. Let's check out the first one played. All right, first played in 2008, so this guy's definitely, he's not quite an OG, because OG is actually 2005, but uh, still a pretty long play history and very impressive to have 56,000 gamer score. He probably has some games downloaded here too. Yeah, Advanced Warfare. Hold on, that, that might be the icon that means it needs a disc, is it? Yeah, it does. Okay, that one needs a disc. Well, these other games, that's a trial. SSX, yeah, we got SSX and Terraria and Tetris Splash are all full games downloaded. Let's go ahead and sign out and see if there's any other profiles on here. We got a full house of Xbox Live profiles here, and you can just tell by looking at them that they probably also have big gamer scores. But let's check out the 420. <laughs> oh, the, yeah, okay, okay, yeah. Never mind, the, the 420 Goobins has never played at all. Who are you people? The Pinky Fry Cook? <laughs> No comment. All right, let's go back to, uh, let's try out XFG Co... Co... I can't pronounce that. I'm not going to try to. Let's go ahead and see what's, what's going on with him. Maybe he's a fry cook as well. Dang, this guy's, yeah, he's got 28,000 gamer score. Anthony and his avatar. Oh, there's his avatar. Super basic, but I, I respect it. Now, last played Diablo 3 in 2014. And by the way, this console is revving up by the second. You can see bunches of dust flying out the back. This is like classic fat 360 things. Now scroll to the end, last played, or first played in 20, 2008, so pretty similar play history to the other guy where he has a, you know, a fairly long play history and got some decent achievements. Now let's go ahead and go to the last profile here, which is XX0Eric0XX. That's like, that's the epitome of an Xbox 360 gamer tag there. All right, Eric, dude, this guy's got 28,000 as well. I'm telling you, it was a full house of gamers. 41 days, what, is, what does that mean? I don't know what I just read, but it's apparently from 2015 and his location is like fire and ice. Uh, probably in reference to something that I don't know. Uh, last played COD Black Ops 2 in 2014. He's got 96 games worth, first played in 2011, so actually only four years and racked up a pretty good gamer score there. Man, I, let's go ahead and check, check out the, open the disk drive and try to put a game in, see if it works. I don't really have much hope for this thing, but the disk drive is working fine now, it pulls out, the light stops flashing, press it, it pulls back in without an issue. That does happen sometimes with, with 360 disk drives where they just sit too long, They get stuck, hit them a few times, maybe clean it out a little bit, and then it's perfectly fine. Just uh, just 360 things. Oh my gosh, this guy's settings are ultra sensitive. I'm used to booting up MW2 to this, the default settings, which is like a, a, a normal stick. This guy, like I tapped it a little bit and he goes flying across the map like so. All right, well the console's still working for now. I'm gonna go ahead and eject this disc before it, the console just dies on me. Um, but uh, console is working for now. Oh, there goes the disc drive again, just flashing. You know what? While we're here, I'm gonna try, I'm just gonna try to swap out the rubber band and see if that fixes the issue. So we're gonna do this the sketch way. Basically, you turn the console off and hold the disk drive open so that it stays open like so. So you can reach in here and grab the rubber band. And uh, yeah, this is the easy and sketch way to do it. Let me grab my tweezers. So basically right there, there's a belt that uh, connects two gears that essentially makes the disk drive open and close. So we're just gonna pop that bad boy out by sticking our tweezers in here. I would not recommend doing this if you don't know exactly where this band is because you don't wanna like stick your tweezers in there and grab something you shouldn't. All right, so as you can see, this, this band is pretty well stretched out. I have some new bands here. So let's go ahead and try to stretch one of those in there and see if that fixes the issue. Now this is the part that's kind of tricky. You have to get this band 
in there looped around these two gears without losing it, which I have done before. And then you have to open up the entire disc drive to get it out. But let's, uh, let me try this. Sorry guys, what am I doing? I might as well go ahead and clean the little wheel in here because that gets a bit dirty as well and that'll help keep the rubber band from, from spinning a lot. So let me clean that off. It really didn't get that much dirt off. It doesn't look that dirty in there, but it's better than nothing. And I want to reiterate that it's definitely a better solution to open your entire, your entire Xbox 360 up and do this rather than doing it the sketch way like I'm doing, but it is what it is. Oh, I got it. I think I got it in there. Nice. All right, cool. Let's plug this bad boy in, see if it works now. All right, turn it on. This drive pulls in. Let's go ahead and see if it ejects. Oh yeah. But anyways, this console's good to go. It'll be listed down below for sale. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Now next up we have an Xbox One to test out and it's pretty much mutilated just like every Xbox One I've, I've ever seen. It's just a, it's a very common trend with these things. Warranty seal is still intact. But let's go ahead and plug it in, see if it works. All right, plugged in. We got power. Any games? Nope, no free game. But let's see if it boots up. All right, here we go. We got Upright Muffin 24. Got a few games on here, or two games actually. What, what is this? It looks like four of the tiles should be there. I, I don't know, let's try to boot up Rocket League. It's probably not gonna work because that's just how things were on the Xbox One. So apparently Rocket League actually does load up. I, I'm so confused because the other Xbox Ones I've tested, I had to connect to the internet to actually, yeah, I had to do this where I had to connect to the internet. Okay, you never know with Xbox. All right, we got some other games here as well. Apex Legends, Batman, Arkham Knight. Oh, if this boots up, this is gonna be a jackpot, but it's, it's not going to, it's gonna tell me to log in, maybe. Oh no, it's working. Oh, I don't know why, but it is indeed working. I, I gotta look this up and try to figure this out now. Why do some games require me to connect to the internet and some don't? Because usually, like if this is downloaded from this guy's profile, you would think that it's linked to his profile, so it has to verify his profile via the internet to make sure that he's actually allowed to play this game, which is why it usually makes me sign in. But this game, is that's not the case. Maybe it's just a, there's probably a certain classification to it that I don't remember. We also have UFC 3 here, and yeah, that's that looks like it's loading up as well. Okay, okay, so we finally found a console with games I can actually play. Wait, GTA 5. Ooh, 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 nope. Yeah, you gotta sign into Xbox Live. Okay, let's go ahead and connect to the internet and see what happens now. Dude, what do you know? Another, <laughs> another dang update. All right, let's update and come back in four hours. All right, guys, so I got this console fully updated and I tried to log into all four of the profiles, but of course you can't use them without putting a password in. So I went ahead and actually deleted all four of the profiles just to see if these games would still work that are on the console. And sure enough, Batman Arkham Asylum or Arkham Knight is working, UFC 3, FIFA 19, and Rocket League all work. Now GTA 5 and Black Ops 3 say you have to put a disc in or you know sign in and be authorized to play the game. So I'm not sure exactly what's going on here and I thought the games would be playable but then just a minute ago I decided to boot up UFC 3 just to like all the way to make sure it works. I got to this home page, I press any button as it says and now I have to add a profile and basically at this point it freezes. I almost think it's getting, it's loading up this game, letting me install, letting me update and actually play the game but then it gets to the point where it's like all right now let's sign in so you can verify you own this game and it's like getting confused and just freezes up, I, I don't know. So I don't think this is fully working. Like I don't think these games actually work. I'm not really surprised considering it's coming from the Xbox One, but <laughs> let me know down below if you have any experience with this. I've never seen this situation before. Uh, but let's go ahead and put a, an actual physical game in, see if that works. All right guys, well I gave up for now on this Xbox One. I don't know what's going on. It's just like freezing like crazy. Had to restart. Uh, the disc seems like it's installing, but it's not going fast four kilobytes. I'm gonna put it aside probably sell it cheap as is. Check it out down below. Let's move on to the next console. Now next up we have an Xbox 360 Slim. This one appears to be in pretty nice condition. Let's go ahead and flip it to the side and see if there's a hard drive inside. Yeah, let's go 250 gigs. Let's go ahead, I uh, already got it plugged in so let's see if it turns on now. Three, two, one. got power and I don't think I hear a disc there. Let's oh, oh, dude, GTA 4? Oh, let's go. It's pretty scratched up. Yeah, nice. I have never seen GTA 4 as a free game in a console like this. It's, you just don't see it very often. Now, were all GTA 4s like this with the, the white Xbox 360 label? I, I don't know, but oh, what is going on here? All right, we've got some profiles. The first one, like, uh, I don't know what the head is from. It looks like a Minecraft head, but it's probably from another game that I'm not familiar with. Uh, we've got Emerald, Emerald Energy 25, Emerald Energy 29. I'm not gonna try to pronounce that. We also have Trinidork. <laughs> We'll start out with Emerald Energy 25 and see what's up. And I'll also add that this bad, bad sign up with the disc back in and it says open tray. Yeah, it reads for like three seconds and then great. So laser is probably bad, awesome. Actually could be a bad game. Yeah, this game looks really rough on the bottom. So let me actually try out a different 360 game and see if that works. Nope, never mind. That one died even, even more quickly than the last one. <laughs> Let's check out Emerald. <laughs> I am the king. He's got like, he's got a king hat on, so can't deny it. Let's go back and Actually, first, before I check out the other profiles, I'm gonna check out the games here. So we got any games downloaded. We got Assassin's Creed Liberation HD demo. Okay, just a few demos. And dude, what is what is the background here? We just have a picture of a party. Uh, okay, but uh, yeah, nice. This console is 
partially working. Another console will save for, <laughs> save for a future episode so we can try to fix it. But guys, let's go ahead and move on to the next console. All right, next up we got an Xbox 360E to test out. It's looking a little odd because this disk drive is bulging out a little bit. You probably can't see that, but let's turn it on, see if it works. Okay, it's booting up. Disk drive opens. What is this? Oh, we get cloudy with the chance of meatballs too. Yes. I used to love this movie when I was like three years old. Um, never mind, it came out in 2013. I don't think I ever saw the second one. I didn't even know there was a second one. Let's see if this works. Yep, we got a couple people here. We've got uh, Castle, Castle Sphere 56 and a name I can't pronounce, and now it's booting up automatically. Awesome. All right, back on the home menu, let's check out Castle Sphere 56 first, see when they last played, and see if we got any games here. All right, no bio, no message, name is Melody, last played in 2017, Sonic the Hedgehog, and I'm really curious if there are any games on this console. I didn't even check the hard drive bay. Is there any hard drive here? Nope, no hard drive, so we got a four gigs. We got a, a demo of Bible trivia. Never seen that before, I didn't even know that was a game. Now. Family settings? No, no family settings. Let's go ahead and put a game in. Try this GTA 5 from earlier and see if this game even works here. All right, yeah, so GTA 4 is loading up. Good to go here. This console is fully working and uh, be listed down below for sale on my website, jrobgaming.com. So go check it out. Guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Check out the next one and uh, I'll see you next time.